Hello, it's Andrew again with another tutorial. T today I'm going to show you some tricks to use with the AB, uh, ADB, which stands for Android Debugging Bridge. And basically that's the communication between the computer to the phone directly, or tablet. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on my um, Thunderbolt steps that you need to do to in, in order for to make this work. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put the um, phone in uh, debugging mode. Um, some AT&T phones probably still do not have this feature. However, most of them have now been updated to allow it. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into uh, your settings. Just like that. And you're going to have to go to applications. Um... Let's see, development, and over here on the top, the bugging needs to be checked. Uh, without that being checked, you won't be able to communicate to the device properly, as well as if you're a root user. Um, in order for you to access root level apps, a lot of them still require for you to have the bugging on. Um, next, you're going to hook it up to your computer, and you should see uh, your little bug at the top when you connect the USB debugging. See, when you pull the drop down. Alright, now to show you some tricks on the computer. Now, you're going to need to use a uh, terminal if you're using a Unix device such as a Mac or a Linux based computer. Or And in Windows you're going to use a uh, command prompt. Um, on Windows you just open up the start menu, start type in CMD and the command window should come up. And then on uh, uh, Linux, Unix devices, you're going to have to load it up in Windows, or in, in Mac, um, you're going to go into Utilities, and it's all terminal right there. Now, uh, for this, I have the folder here. Um, it's not going to really work too well in that location. If you want to keep it on your desktop, you're more than welcome to. The uh, easiest way I found to do it, we're going to type in CD, sorry, CD, in here, which stands for Change Directory. And you can just drag the folder there. And remember that Platform Tools folder that's in there? Yeah, now we need to access it. So now I'm accessing uh, inside the folder on the level of platform tools. So if you go into platform tools, you'll see all these little basically aids. On here, there's ADB. This is the Android debugging bridge. This is what's going to allow us to communicate to the device. Um, I don't really like this folder being there. I like it in... Um, uh, basically the home folder saying like where I put it on the, the Linux slash uh, Windows tutorial that's where I like it because it's a lot easier for me you just type in CD and then you can just type in Android SDK Mac whatever um, I don't rename the files because I use multiple computers and I like to keep them consistent so I just use whatever uh, Google names the file so I'm running Lion on this, and by default, your home folder is no longer visible. Um, I'm not going to change it to where it is, so I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to drag this file in here. By doing that now, when I open up a new terminal window, I can just type in CD Android. Okay, Windows. Or, sorry, I'm on a Mac. Mac x86 platform tools. And now I'm in the platform tools folder. Um, so on Unix devices, so Linux and Mac, you're going to need to actually enter in period slash for the ADB commands. That's only when you're not accessing the shell directly. So, like right now, to open up ADB, we're going to do the period slash ADB. 
Um, on Windows, you do not need to do that. You can just type in ADB. Um, to see a little list, of, a short list, it's not actually everything that you can do with ADB. Uh, you can just hit ADB and it'll just give you kind of like a little explanation of what all these things are. You can see to send a file to the device, you can do ADB push and where the file is located. Um, by default, it'll pick your platform tools. So if you want to push a, f a file to the f to the SD card without mounting the SD card, you can totally do that. And I'll show you an example. Um, you can pull files like a build prop, make changes, and then push it back. Uh, ADB shell, which is going to be a lot of what you would do. Uh, this ADB log cat, it's more for like debugging. If you're having a problem and something's not loading, you can actually see what the error message is. Like if you develop an app and you load it to the phone and you're having problems getting the app to launch, you can actually see exactly what's going wrong, which is nice. So a little example of the log cat. You'll see everything my phone is doing. So when I unlock it, whatever you can actually see everything that's going on. So, I'm going to go back and open up a new terminal. Um, here's an example of ADB uh, shell. Now, because I am using a rooted phone, that's why you see a pound symbol. If you are not using a rooted phone, you would actually see a dollar sign. Um, now, just because it's rooted doesn't mean that um, I have access to read and write files to my file system right now. I actually would have to mount the file system as read and write before I can do that. So, it's still like a security barrier, like nobody can just log in remotely and just change files on your your phone just because you're rooted. It's not really that simple. Um, and from here you can see, like I can type in CD system. And now if I hit LS, it's list, you can see all my the files that are in the in the system directory in that file that I was talking about build prop keeps showing up. Now I'm going to pull a build prop so you can actually see what I'm talking about. I'm going to exit and it takes me right back to platform tools. And I hit ADB pull and I'm going to type system build dot prop and it'll, whenever you get a successful file transfer, you'll see the r transfer rate, so 509 kilobytes per second. Um, and then here's the file. It's in your platform tools directory. Uh, so this is essentially um, a text file. You can actually view and change it and edit things and actually make your device appear to the market as some other device. Sometimes that works for some hidden apps um, if you're using something that's not necessarily uh, uh, an official release from a manufacturer. Like right now I'm using CyanogenMod on my phone so it's got a custom build prop. Um, so let's say if I wanted to send that uh, right back to the phone I'm gonna do ADB push and I'm going to do build.prop and I'm going to send it to the system. And this won't work because I haven't actually mounted my file system. See, failed to copy build property because it's a read only file system. But I actually have to go and mount the file system. Um, which you have to be rooted in order to do that. <laughs> but uh, 
I can never remember it, so I always end up Google googling the how to mount file system on Android, and you'll get this. Uh, let's see this code right here. You need to copy this one where it says mount minus O. That's the one that you want. And now if I go into ADB shell, I paste that. Oh, oops. Um, Uh, that doesn't look like that was my code. That's another way to do it, it's just ADB remount. Um, that actually mounts the file system. So now if I were to do ADB push, um, we're sending the build prop to system. And now you see the same transfer going back to the phone. That means I wrote the thing back to it. Um, another thing that's not listed, if you type in ADB, um, that's not in here. Uh, you could actually, actually, it is. It's remount, um, reboot, go into the bootloader. Um, so I'm going to go show you an example of ADB reboot. And you'll see my phone. Start. Now when that's loaded, I'm going to actually show you how to go into the recovery through this. So you can type in ADB reboot recovery and this will allow you, if you have an HTC device and you have a file named on your SD card um, according to the device, like, the, like this is a Thunderbolt so if I have a file on there that's uh, an image file like pg50img.zip, if I try to reboot the phone and manually go into recovery mode, it's going to instead not allow me to go into recovery mode and it's going to try to flash that file every time. So when I find myself in that situation, I usually find it easier if I'm by a computer to just go and type in this code right here, adb reboot recovery. And it's going to reboot the, the phone into recovery mode. Now, in future videos, I'm actually going to show you um, a little bit more about recoveries. On this phone, I am running uh, Team Win Recovery. I actually love it. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Armon Recoveries from back when I had a hero. team win recovery all right and uh, that's a brief tutorial on ADB commands uh, if you want to know some more just let me know and I'll gladly help you out